So the next car that we're going to review is the second of the Series 2 Callaway Super Speedsters. This vehicle, which started out as a Corvette ZR1 with the LT5, is a twin-turbo, 755 horsepower Super Speedster and one of a kind for a couple of reasons. First, it's the only Super Speedster, or any Speedster altogether, that has a removable hardtop. So this roof panel was designed to continue the flowing lines of the Speedster, but is completely removable so that you can use it on fair weather days. The other thing you notice about this Speedster is the body's a lot different. This vehicle utilizes the Callaway Corvette LM bodywork, which was designed for use in competition. In 1994, Callaway Competition entered a car at the Le Mans race in France. This vehicle, which was originally bodied as a super speedster with the traditional bodywork, was then rebodied in the LM bodywork, which was our first rendition of a street version of the LM with lightweight carbon fiber composite body panels. So the entire nose is carbon fiber. In fact, when I lift the hood, you'll notice that the fenders and other components are carbon fiber as well. Let's take a look. Just like with the other super speedster, the airflow comes into the front and is extracted through the twin nostrils in the hood. Lifting the hood, you can see the twin air inlets, one on either side of the radiator, as well as the massive intercooler that's laid flat and allows for uh, cooling of the air that comes from the turbochargers prior to entering the intake manifold. Again, a twin turbo LT5, 755 horsepower. This was the most powerful of the three twin turbo LT5 uh, engines that we installed. There were a total of three twin turbo LT5s that Callaway built, one in a Callaway Corvette ZR1, and then the two Super Speedsters. I mentioned the uh, use of carbon fiber. You can see the composite weave on the fenders, as well as under the hood, the entire skin is ultra lightweight. In fact, this hood only weighs a, a few pounds versus 60 to 80 pounds for a traditional hood, so exceptionally lightweight. Other unique details about this Super Speedster is the carbon fiber rear wing, as well as the LM bodywork, which continued into the rear fascia specific to this model. You can see the massive rear fenders covering the wide OZ aluminum wheels. This vehicle is also equipped with Brembo brakes and massive Pirelli tires. Again, this is one of a kind in candy wine with chamois leather and the only Speedster that was made of the 10 Series 1 and two Series 2 Super Speedsters that had a removable hardtop. Very unique look and uh, very, very involved to get in and out. It's, uh, it's a wonderful car to drive. Again, I'd encourage you, if you ever have the opportunity, say yes.